some sort. Um, so that was some good news. But they are responding to 50 to 100 reports of gas main breaks as well as 30 water main leaks. The water, we're told, is still safe to drink. But this is the strongest earthquake to hit this area since 1989. So it was significant. The White House now says President Obama has been briefed on the quake. And federal officials are in touch with the state and the local responders again. They need to check that Hoover Dam is what they the need to do. Even though it's a little farther right away, right they the still phone. need to check His that big bitch. Loose. He is a member of the Napa County Board of Supervisors, and, and we have him live on camera with us. Uh, Mark, thanks so much for taking some time to talk with us. Uh, I imagine your community is, is struggling a little bit this morning. How are you doing, and how are the folks there? Uh, we're we're very busy. Uh, we're working to assess the situation. We're really thankful that there hasn't been a loss of life. Uh, we're very regretful for those who have been injured. Um, uh, but I think we're very fortunate that it occurred when it did. If it had occurred during business hours, it could have been a lot worse. We have seen the images of the fires that broke out, of the buildings that had bricks fall off, um, even parts of roofs ripped off. Is that the most significant damage that you are seeing there? It does appear some of this downtown damage that you're, you're seeing now is some of the worst. Uh, at least that's the visible damage as we're assessing what's going on with our water mains and our gas lines and our power system. Uh, we're learning. So we're in the process of assessing all of our uh, critical infrastructure to see where we stand. We've talked to residents who said, wow, we thought this was going to be the big one. This could have been even worse than it was. What do you think um, accounts for the fact that there wasn't even more significant damage or injuries? Is it because of the way California and your region specifically prepares for earthquakes? I believe so. Uh, some of the damage you see are, are buildings that have been retrofitted. Obviously, they didn't do as well as we'd hoped, but a lot of the buildings nearby, uh, at least from the outside, don't look like they're damaged much at all, and that's because they meet uh, modern earthquake standards. So. Uh, it certainly could have been worse than, than it is. Put it into perspective for those of us who don't live there. How does this earthquake compare to those you may have felt in the past? Well, for Napa County, it's the largest by far. I was here for the Loma Prieta, and it, it basically just kind of rocked us. This one uh, it moved our bed across the bedroom, and so it was um, uh, very significant. Anybody there, go out there and do you your little research, man, and uh, leave a comment for a boy. Uh, as um, I understand how it, a far lot of is this uh, earthquake from Martha's Vineyard? Question. Please leave a comment bricks. with an answer. Uh, I want to be lazy today and not look it up. But uh, it, Obama uh, just came from Martha's well. Vineyard Again, we were lucky it was like a day ago. In the we're showing images at the hospital there, the, the Queen of the Valley Hospital, where we know that they have been treating or have treated up to nearly 90 patients. We talked to the spokesperson there who described triage tents. That I, don't, I don't know if it's just me, but I think wherever Obama goes, something bad happens. Responders have responded to and we need situation. to have somebody track that. Wherever this man so goes, far, so week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, we six years, two, four, eight, uh, for the county from downtown we got to see if anything bad happens. Facility, uh, near the airport. Uh, but we've got great cooperation from the state in terms of sending inspectors to look at our infrastructure. Uh, we've got great uh, support from neighboring communities in terms of ambulances and, and fire service. Uh, so I think everybody's uh, on their toes. This is what we prepared for here in California. And it sounds like people are responding with an all-hands-on-deck type of mentality. Mark Luz, thank you again for talking with us this morning. My Good pleasure. luck to you and your community there. I'm joined on the phone now by Kelly Houston, a spokesman for the Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Governor Jerry Brown, again, just declared a state of emergency. Kelly, thanks for taking some time with us. What is the situation like right now? So our State Operations Center in Sacramento, which is uh, about uh, maybe 40 or 50 miles east of Napa and that area, we have our State Operations Center activated where we're looking at all of the resources on a state level that we can bring to assist the local first responders. Like you've seen, there's just a whole range of emergency first responder problems, whether it's with the fires or water main breaks or folks that are injured that are being treated by the hospitals. We dispatched three urban search and rescue teams 
that you would see at a building collapse. And even though we don't see that here, those teams all offer a specialty uh, expertise in uh, rescuing folks uh, that may be uh, involved in, uh, in anything related to the earthquake. So we have those teams in there, and the governor's proclaimed a state of emergency, and we're working with the state agencies to go out and look at infrastructure where there could be damage to water systems, dams, and power that isn't obvious, but we need to make sure that it's inspected thoroughly because there's a lot of damage on earthquakes that just doesn't reveal itself until later. Now, we heard from Mike Parnes, the Napa City Manager, not long ago, who at the time said there are no people reported missing, but you have activated these Notice how many churches teams. have uh, been hit. Other parts Weird, right? How many churches, Napa, Catholic and Christian churches, is just like crumbling, son. No, it's, it's, there's justice a Center, look at the Justice Center, the, the, the corner of the like justice is falling off. What? Maybe a problem that we didn't. Or local right at the steps of justice is a stack of bricks, so you tell me that something's not going on. We have a birth pain here. Occurring early this morning when it was dark, and now as the light has come up, we're seeing a lot more uh, problems than we uh, may have been able to identify earlier in the morning. We heard from the USGS that up to a million people may have felt moderate to severe shaking from the earthquake. That's a lot of people in a wide region. Can you set the scene for us a little bit more about just how widespread the damage is? Well, the damage is all over the Napa County area and surrounding areas. And the reason we're seeing this widespread damage is because the earthquake was shallower than normal, I guess. That's probably not a good way to describe it. But it was a magnitude 6 earthquake, but it was felt like it was a magnitude 7 earthquake. And we know that the last major earthquake that occurred in the Bay Area was a 6.9. So what people felt... Uh, was pretty significant, and in, in these cases, this uh, fault is uh, a fault that doesn't necessarily have a lot of activity, but it reveals itself, like I said, in different ways, and we felt it all the way as far away as Sacramento. We have folks over in uh, San Francisco, South San Francisco, even up into the Sierra Nevada, uh, Nevada mountains uh, felt the earthquake. So we see the fires that are burning. We see the folks that were injured. We see some of the infrastructure, like in downtown Napa, these older buildings that you have collapsing uh, uh, fronts to it. But then there's also people that experience uh, a lot of debris and things that uh, fall fell off their homes, chimneys and whatnot, you know, miles away. So it's really hard to predict. An earthquake is it's something that uh, is still a lot of unknowns to us. And so when we have an earthquake like this in California, we have a whole system that gets activated regardless of what uh, you know, we think the problem might be, we just say, hey, we, we don't know what we're going to find, and so we dispatch as many resources as we can to the area. All right, Kelly Houston, we'll let you go so you can get right back to work. Uh, he's with the Governor's Office of Emergency Services in California, and thank you for your time. National we do Guard. appreciate it. He mentioned that they're still assessing the damage, and, of course, residents there are still bracing for possible aftershocks. There is a 50% chance in the next several hours that this area would see a 5.0 magnitude aftershock. Um, obviously another very significant shaking and, and hopefully not damaging additional buildings than we're already seeing. But we'll more ahead on the earthquake as well as injuries. After the break, we're going to talk to a hospital representative, hear more specifics about what they're dealing with at this hour.